What if I told you that by opening up Blender and pasting some free online assets, you can actually turn the default cube into a full CG Spider-Man scene that looks straight from a movie? Well, in this video, you're going to find out exactly what it takes to master Spider-Man animations, and by the end of it all, we'll see if my final result actually looks any good. But before that, let's rewind. You see, last year, I already kind of did this. I made an older scene of Spider-Man running off this rooftop in a night city. But here's the problem. It's way too basic. First, it's literally just made up of like these default Mixamo actions that everyone uses these days. And second, the night city he's in is just made up of like photo scans of Tokyo. And we all know Spider-Man ain't Japanese. Well, maybe except that one time he was. And the worst offense of all is that it doesn't even include a web swing. It just ends on a cliffhanger. But you get the point. I need to upgrade this animation in every way possible, and we're gonna start with Spider-Man himself. For the Spider-Man model, I'll go over to Sketchfab and pick up this free fully rigged amazing Spider-Man suit. It's way better than the one I used last year. Oh, it's the same. Well, yeah, but last year I pretty much stuck with the default textures, and it worked well in a dark scene, but I want my new animation to be in the day, and this time it ain't looking so good. So let me show you a really easy way to upgrade the textures so we can go from this to this. First, let's use the separate color node in the shader editor to isolate the reds, crank up the contrast, and use the shader to divide our Spider-Man colors. Now we can adjust reds and blues separately. I'm gonna make the blues more metallic and shiny, and as for the reds, I'll make them metallic as well, but the real secret is to mess around with this anisotropy to get that nice shine. Now let's animate some stuff. I still want Spider-Man to run off a rooftop, but I don't want to use janky Mixamo actions again. I also don't have a thousand dollar mocap suit lying around, so what do we do? Well, here's something that's absolutely going to blow your mind. What better way to animate Spider-Man running than to use AI-generated animations? I'm serious. By using this free online tool called Mojen, I could just upload my custom path from Blender, play with a few settings, bring that back in, use a free add-on to retarget the animation to my Spider-Man, and now we have an entirely custom running animation that looks totally unique. And before we make him web swing and all that, let's first build out a city for him to swing in. Well, what if I told you that with a click of a button, we can literally import any city we want straight into Blender? We'll just use this free blossom add-on to select an area on an online map, copy and paste coordinates, click import, and boom. And to texture them, I'm just gonna use Midjourney to generate a bunch of random building images, use them as image textures, and just model some basic geometry like the rooftops. For the ground, I'm gonna use this photo of an intersection I found, change it up a bit with AI, and just slap that on our ground. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and paste in any assets that can add crazy detail fast to our city. We can find these assets online for completely free. I'm talking about taxis, buses, pedestrians, trees, rooftop props, and steam elements. Free ones are usually low poly, which is perfect for a background environment. Here, check this out. This is before the assets, and this is after. It's insane. Alright, now that we have an entire city, we can finally get to the sweet animations for Spider-Man. And you won't believe how simple it gets. I'll start by using this Mixamo atom by Adobe to easily create an advanced control rig for Spider-Man. Then I'll parent my Spider-Man rig to a new empty, and now I can completely separate his movement from pose animations. Now I can keyframe the actions of the empty to match a classic backflip jump off. And while we're at it, let's create a new curve acting as Spider-Man's path, set an object constraint to follow that path, and now we're getting somewhere. And check this out. By locking the view to the empty, I can now easily animate different body parts up in layers, like for the upper body, where I'll make him fold and flex at different points. For the legs, I'll have him kick off the ground and fold in into an iconic pose during the main swing, before kicking into a front flip. And for the arms, I'll pull them back for the jump, spring them out during the fall, and then extend one to form this one-arm web swing. Now we can clean up the poses by animating the head to look where he'll swing, the fingers to have him shoot, pull, and let go of the web. We can also spice things up by adding noise modifiers to the arms and legs, and this just makes everything feel way more realistic. To create some webs, I'll use Peter Francis method for his video, which involves creating a subdivided line, hooking the ends to the hand and building, and just slap a cloth simulation over the whole thing to get that nice web effect. Now all there's left to do is to add in some cameras following Spidey, and here's an easy trick to do that. Remember that empty that Spider-Man's always stuck to? Well, we can just duplicate it, bake its animation by visual keying, and now the camera has something to stick to. The final cherry on top of all this is to add in some realistic camera shake using Ian Hubert's Shagify add-on. As always, the more love and effort we put in, the better everything looks. And after all that work, let's take a look at what my final animation looks like. If you thought that was cool, what if I told you I have a 45 minute step-by-step -step tutorial on this that you can check out right now by clicking here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more.